this is Bad Foot, and today we're going to learn how to make a mansion in Dungeon Alchemist. And what I'm going to show you today is um, is how I'm going to do this. And I'm taking a floor plan uh, from the Biltmore State, which is in Asheville, North Carolina. It's a beautiful old home, and uh, we're going to um, take this. Um, house and we are going to make a map out of it so uh, uh, the first thing I did was I took this I, I found some drawings of the Biltmore house and you can see you can download these offline there's your um, various floors of the of the actual house itself and so I actually took the main floor to start with but my intention is to do all the floors and to put them up for patrons on my patreon uh, so you can see uh, what I did was I took this main floor and then I put it into Photoshop and I took a grid. Uh, you can see this uh, is actually this grid here I put on there and at five feet per square I um, aligned it to basically what is the main room here which is a 42 by 72 room. I got those dimensions off the internet and uh, I've got my my grid here so you can see that I actually move this grid around and I can I can take this grid I can move it I can scale it I can do things with it but what I did was I got it to the point where it would it fit exactly the way that I wanted um, for that room so that is the first thing I did now you might hear the fan on my computer going a little bit because I've got two um, programs open that are giant um, hogs of um, Power, one of them being Photoshop and the other being Dungeon Alchemist. So the next thing I did was I used this, um, I used this to create something in Dungeon Alchemist. So what I did was I laid it out. Um, and the reason you want to do the grids is because if you just start drawing rooms about the size you think they are, you will come into a room and it's not going to, you're not going to be able to make it big enough, or it's going to be too big. So here's the, the bottom floor, and uh, so I drew all the rooms first. I didn't decorate them first, and, and well, I actually did, but what I found was that uh, if I put all the doors in this room, then once I draw this room, my doors disappear and my walls change. So then I went around the outside and I went to my walls and I found the, pl the wall that I wanted, which was the plaster wall. Um, and I, you know, I, I went to each of the walls and made sure that they were, you know, what I wanted. Um, so I could do the outside. And I didn't, I, did, I started decorating early, but really, um, you don't really want to decorate until you have your walls and things um, taken care of. And so you can see uh, that for, for some of the things, I actually had to put some balconies on there. And um, those are just the half walls. Uh, because some of these are sort of like exterior balconies and so this this rail worked pretty well and then I began to decorate so let's go over to the library here and we can take a look at the library of the Biltmore house um, I actually found pictures of what this library is supposed to look like so you can kind of see how it looks here and I can go to my file I've got some library photos in here and you can see um, that for example that's my library and that's kind of what it looks like looking um, the opposite way that you're looking and this is what it looks like looking the other way so not perfect and I couldn't do the sort of double level here um, the other thing I could not do by the way is the sort of rounded corners that you see um, up here but that's okay um, the square works perfectly well my dungeon delvers don't notice any difference uh, and you know of course not everything is in dungeon alchemist yet but it will be so that is um, the way that uh, oops uh, making the built more house and you can see there that it's coming along again I'm going to put this up on my Patreon, uh, which is the Gremlin Brothers Patreon. It's not just mine, my brothers, my Gremlin Brothers, Froghorn, and um, Dark Wayne are also um, part of it. And if you like my video, please uh, 
subscribe and like it and do all the things that you know how to do to uh, to help me out and um, yeah and so this will be this will be up there and you can check it out and uh, I'm gonna work on finishing it so that you can have it the other thing that I will tell you about Dungeon Alchemist which is which is extremely cool uh, is that they're gonna have a feature where you can make things you know old so I could take this table and as you can see here I can I can duplicate it or delete it and I can turn the lights on and off here if I want um, but I can make them old or new so I could actually go to this table and click the old button and I would suddenly it would you know maybe have dust on it or something the other thing I will show you that I've had a lot of fun with in Dungeon Alchemist a little tour here is uh, the the paintings and stuff like this and I've actually gone in and found some of the original paintings that are part of the Biltmore house like this is actually you can't probably see it this one right here is actually a a painting of the Biltmore house but I can come over here I can select the uh, painting and I could go ahead and um, put almost anything that I wanted in in there um, where is my uh, file I'll show you this real quick I go to my desktop for example go to my um, my Biltmore house and my photos and so if I want to make this um, you know a picture of this wizard guy I can just go boom and there's my wizard guy on there I could put a picture of myself on there if I wanted to really cool stuff anyway working on this uh, and we will um, we'll maybe post again when it's done and we'll work on some of the other levels uh, makes a great haunted house I will also say by the way that I did run an adventure that I wrote um, that took place in the Biltmore house a sort of a ruined abandoned thing and it was super fun because uh, lots lots to explore here um, all right thanks for watching everybody check us out at the Gremlin Brothers Patreon